Good morning, everybody. I hope this video finds you well. Uh, today, I just wanted to go over uh, the options we have when we die. A lot of people are under the impression that there is only one option, you die. And there is a tunnel of light and you can go through it and it all happens. Um, I want to go into the mechanics of that, or at least um, the mechanics isn't the right word. I just wanted to discuss the options you have, because you do have options. So let's suppose you die. Okay, you're dead. You uh, There's a period of, of confusion, or maybe there isn't, maybe there's a period of clarity. But there's a some point in time where you realize, well, hey, that's my body down there, and hey, I'm up here, and what's next? You'll be a little stunned because you'll start getting some memories. I'm going to tell you right off the bat, you're going to be getting some memories. Not all your memories. Keep that in mind. That's not all your memories. You're going to start getting some memories. And most of these memories will be associated with your life that you just had lived. You'll also start getting memories associated with um, the conditions prior to you having birth in this environment. You'll be able to sense things. You'll be able to hear things with great clarity. In a lot of ways, it'll be like lucid dreaming. Colors will seem different. And uh, things will appear to be clearer to you. I don't think there's anything that I'm saying here that... Mm, people would disagree with. You might be a Buddhist, you might be a Hindu, Hindi, Hindu. You might be a Christian. I think all of you might agree on this appraisal of what happens. You might even be an agnostic who believes, okay, when the brain dead, you're dead. Well, no. A person who believes that wouldn't even be here on this channel, <laughs> right? What a, what a pathetic belief that uh, your entire being resides within the brain. That's so 18th century. Now, um, what happens is, so there's the state, and you are um, in a disembodied state. You are a corporal entity. You are without body, corpus. Okay, so you're a corporal entity. Perhaps I pronounced it wrong. Corporeal? Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. It's derived from Latin. I always like that word, corporal. So, um, you're floating around and immediately there is going to be, by many, many reports, friends or associations or others or whatever that will want you to come towards them and they'll welcome you. It'll be a loving environment. And eventually they'll get you towards a, 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 a well-lit area going through a tunnel known as the Tunnel of Light. I recommend holding off, chilling, mingling with these friends and everybody, and getting a situational report established. I also recommend that you do everything in your possible, to the poss everything in your ability that is possible to communicate with your higher energy self, your manted, which at that time is probably hidden 
but you will feel its presence. Use that mantid for guidance. For those of you who are associated with the domain, whether you're actual imprisoned domain members or volunteers for the domain, call out for the domain. At the bare minimum, at the bare minimum, thank them for modifying your non-physical body and wish them well in uh, re regaining their lost domain members. Be polite, right? Now, that's the least you could do. Show some compassion, some humility, some humanity. So what are we looking at? Well, we're looking at the possibility of you gathering a crowd around you, right? Your consciousness, calling out for your old pet and kitty friends, perhaps. Your mantid. Friends and family who may want you to be gathered together. And of course, those of you who are associated with domain or other spiritual bodies. There are other people who are who have agreed to other um, non-physical groups that they're a part of, like uh, DM and, and SD. And yeah, of course, you call out to them. And then what? Well, what are your options? Well, I'm going to uh, enumerate four options that you have. Because you, you don't have that singular option of going into the tunnel of light with old friends and family or doing alone. By studying or reviewing the idea that we're quanta, then, and the way quanta is divided for the soul, you can understand what options you have. So let's look at the first option. We like to think that our consciousness flies out and there's no physical or non-physical body. That's false. Once you leave the physical body, it's more like a skin of, of, a, of a snake that peels off and the rest of you continues. Your consciousness is still within a container. Your consciousness is still within a container. Repeating one more time. Your consciousness is still within a container. It's the non-physical container, but your quanta is all associated with this non-physical container. It'll look a lot like your physical you, but that's only through um, quantum associations. Okay. All right. So you're out there floating around above the world lines, above the reality. Now you're going to, at the moment of death, you're going to be at the last world line. It's not going to look like um, uh, like I have drawn, world line, world line, world line. You haven't reached that stage yet. You are still hovering near this last world line you were at. You have to actually go up higher um, to see the multitude of world lines and possibilities. But you're not there right now. You're, at, you're still at the lower levels of the reality. You're being tied to the lower levels by the energy state of some of this quanta that's in here. You're being tied to the lower energy because your energy state is still low. Of course, you'll be able to move around amazingly so. You'll be able to move around amazingly so. And you will get the impression that you can do many, many things that you couldn't do as a physical embodiment. And that's very true. But it's not all you can do. So. So don't be under the impression that um, <clears throat> it's like a dog. Dog's at a table, you're eating a nice big banquet at a table and you give a dog a, a few scraps that are delicious and the dog's like, oh my God, I'm in heaven right now. I can do anything I want. 
Meanwhile, all the other food is on top of the table. You're not there yet. So calm down, okay? You don't have all the powers, all the abilities yet. You're just floating around in this um, non-physical container. It's still a container. It still looks like you. It still thinks like you. It's your consciousness and you're out there. The first thing that you can do, and I always tell everybody, is just relax. You're in no rush to do anything, so don't rush. You don't rush. You figure out your situation. You look at things around there. Memories will flood your head. If you're, if you're an old soul, they call these old souls, people who've gone through reincarnation over and over again, you know exactly what to do. It'll come to you immediately and you will have to do shema, shema, shema. You'll have to do whatever. Calm those urges. You'll know what you need to do, but I recommend that you just, before you do anything, there's no rush, remember, there's no rush. Figure out what's going on. At this disembodied state, if you have anything to do with the domain, whether you're a former domain member, or um, a volunteer for the domain, call for them. And I mean call for them. Shout, uh, send out thought signals, tell them you have died, you have translated, and uh, you just want to meet them to get to assist you get bearings on what to do next. That's the first thing you must do. Uh, the second thing is your manted. It will be there with you. You will have a manted there. So yeah, you will have a man head there while you're out flying around. That your your man head, your higher energy presence is nearby. You may not be able to see the man head, and there may be very good reasons for that. But you can sense the man head and you can communicate the man head, or communicate to the man head. That is you. And the mantid itself, depending upon your relationship with it, will tell you what to do next. You can do anything you want. But remember, your mantid and you should have a complete intimate understanding of what's going on in your life. It should be intimate. Communication will be by thought, it won't be by voice. You might know this as your inner voice, perhaps. And it'll appear in ways and answers as it manifests. Your highest resource at this point in time would be your amanted. That is the higher part of yourself that is not able to exist within the physical constraints of the reality universe. It's too high energy. You are too low energy. So you're leaving the low energy state to here, and their energy is still probably higher than you can see. You understand? They're you, but they're the higher energy state. You're the lower energy state, your consciousness. A low energy state. The mantid will have to lift you up higher because you don't, you can't do it on your own. Oh, you're flying around without the constraints of the physical body, but you probably can't go all the way up. So the mantid is there. The most important thing you can do once you call out for domain is communicate with your mantid. This can happen simultaneously. Call out for your friends. Call out to your mantid. Call out to the domain. Uh, if you're younger souls, um, this is all kind of new to you, of course you're going to start seeing friends and family and members of your soul cluster coming on over. And there's things that you can do. So what can you do? What are the options that you can do? Well, the first option you can do, obviously, is once you call, once you're out there, you can call out for the domain. Yeah. 
Okay, call out for the domain. And the domain, you being a higher energy force, can then move you elsewhere. Option number one. Option number two is you can use your Mantad GP, your general population Mantad, the Mantad associated with this universe, to move you to a higher state, take you elsewhere. Option number three is you just stay associated with this universe. A free roaming spirit, not associated with the physical body, not associated with the template, and move, moving around. Another option is you and your Mantad communicate together and work in conjunction with the domain and all your energy pulls you guys to a direction on what to do next. What other options are there, really? Your um, Manted Prime, that part of you that's is, it's in another universe. It's not in your universe. It's in another universe. So you can't do anything about that because you are locked into this universe. You need high energy to get out of this universe. So the only way that you can get out of this universe is to call in high energy forces to assist you out. Something that's tricky, once you leave, once you are a discombobulated, a discorporeal entity, and you see old friends from your old soul um, cluster, and they're calling you into the white light, remember that these people, these entities, these memories, are also like you, low energy. They're like you, they're low energy. And they will direct you to a portal or something to get you out. And that may be valid or it may not be valid depending upon your individual situation. And I can't tell you what that is. But what I can tell you is that for you to leave this universe, you need to be at a higher energy state. And that means you need help from higher entity, higher power entities. It should be very straightforward. You alone don't have the ability to leave this universe. You don't have that ability. And leaving this universe is the way for you to leave this prison planet because this prison planet, this prison complex is in this universe. So the easiest thing for you to do is take a back door and leave. That's the way the system works, see? That's how they imprison you. That's how the old empire imprisons you. They take your consciousness, separate it from the higher, higher energy aspects, and say, okay, you are stuck in this universe. You can't move for shit. And they erase your memories so you don't know how to get higher energy. And there you are, stuck as the lower energy creature. The only way out is higher energy. So it's not a fence so much as it is they cut a in other words, to give it another another way of understanding, it's like taking somebody and cutting off their arms and legs so they can't crawl out of the prison camp. Okay? That's what they did. This is you. No arms and legs, you're stuck. Additionally, Within the physical universe is a region. It's a bubble. So it's a you. It's a pocket universe. The prison, the prison complex is a pocket universe within the reality universe, or within the main universe. We call this pocket universe a reality universe because it's your reality. Okay. So 
it's not only that you're in this universe, but it's also within this bigger universe. The key to moving out of a universe is a higher energy force. So knowing the construction of the prison, the prison walls are a universe. To go through this memory membrane, you need to have higher energy. To and the, the the funny thing is the high energy that you need to go through the memory membrane is the same energy that you need to completely get out of the universe completely. So keep that in mind. Whether it's moving through the barrier within the pocket universe that sits within the universe or going from this prison universe into another totally different universe, you need to have higher energy. And the key to that is either your Manted GP or uh, another entity, whether it's domain or another organization that you have already been in contact with. Those friends that come for you are unlikely to have higher energy. So they are unlikely to pull you out of the universe that you are in. This is very, very important to understand. <clears throat> I hope when the time comes for you to egress from this world, from this physical body, that you remember this little video remember me and then you'll probably say he doesn't know jack shit look at this or whatever you may say or whatever you may think at the bare minimum i'm giving you a different way of looking at things a different way of looking at how the situation is please take that into account understand that you just don't get energy it's a skill that is that is acquired over great lengths of time through quantum associations and you you're going to be the shy class flying around in a non-physical body call for assistance you can't do things on your own call for assistance you can have your mantis GP, don't be afraid your Mantad GP, that's the higher energy self of yours. Now your Mantad may not agree with both of you working together. No problem. You can call the domain or somebody else to take you out. The Mantad itself is under laws and constraints and understandings okay that you are unaware of that you have no understanding of and they might not want for you to leave this environment for one reason or the other okay so Call out. See what kind of help you get. Remember the so remember the memories that you have. You're going to start getting memories back. They won't be all of your memories. They will be selective memories. If you can't remember when you very first became became conscious trillions of years ago, then you know your memories are not coming back. So. Those of you who have been altered by domain because you're a volunteer, uh, you'll probably uh, manage some other things that are really going to be great. Some of you are going to have other things happen when you get out. There might be snares and traps that will manifest as fears. Terrible, ugly, frightening things, fears. 
hopefully you followed my advice on uh, association with the domain and you had modifications done to remove a lot of those traps and snares. But nevertheless, it's a frightening event, isn't it? Don't be afraid. Nothing can happen to you because you're consciousness. And then egress. Uh, for me, um, we're going to play it by ear. Ideal, uh, ideally, I'm going to get in touch with my Manted and my uh, uh, commander. We're going to work out something. I'm going to say I'm going to sit here and do absolutely nothing. But I'm not going back to this to this world. I don't give a damn how enticing it may be. Let me spend a couple of eons on boarding them, and then I'll try again. But I'm not going to do it. Not for a long time. Okay, that's just me. You're not me. So, uh, hmm. so whatever you guys decide to do, just remember you have options. Nothing is always cut and dry, and you're not forced to do anything. You're never forced to do anything, and there's no rush. Um, You'll want to leave the universe, the universe, and they'll show you a portal to go to another universe, and that is an option. And you can just go. Um, and then if you want to be a disembodied spirit, you can be the disembodied spirit up in that heaven universe. And you can do that, of course, right? So actually, the bare minimum, you have two things. You can forget everything I said. And as a disembodied spirit, you can do two things. You can either become a disembodied spirit and hang around here above all the world lines in the reality universe or go through a tunnel and go to the heaven universe and just hang out there. And then later on, you can work things out however you want to work things out. But I recommend that you get in touch with higher energy folk, higher energy beings, whoever they may be. and then do things a little bit under terms that you understand. You might have entities, maybe your Manta GP, maybe some old friends and relatives that tell you, you know, why don't you go up to the heaven universe and learn some skills and try it just one more time, just one more time. And at this point in time, I'm going to tell you just what the commander just told me right now. It's like being a gambler, just one more time. And by the way, that's how communication works. <laughs> that's how communication works with me. It's like instantaneous. I've got it down as pack. Those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, don't worry about it. So, yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> Sorry about that. <clears throat> Sometimes communication is really uh, strong. Point is, uh, I'm going to underline the message here. You're not gambling. Well, actually, you are. You're gambling with your life. You're gambling with your consciousness. You're gambling. There's not going to be one more time if you just roll snake eyes or if you just roll evens, suddenly you'll get all your rewards back. No, this is it. There is no other time. There is no other time. This time when you die and you translate into this non-physical world and you translate into this non-physical state, that's it. You make a decision. There's not going to be another chance. It's this. Because 
once you go back up and you get another template to come on down, the odds are that it's, you're not going to be at the same state as you are right now. This is it. This is your once in a lifetime chance. You know, as you get older, you realize things. You realize that opportunities don't, when you're 20 years old, you turn down an opportunity, you know, to, to get a good job or to move to a nice location. You'll think, well, other opportunities will come. No, as an older man, I'll tell you, when opportunities come, you grab them and you seize them right then and there because the chances of another opportunity coming are very low. You get one opportunity, that's it. When this time when you die, you have one opportunity, that's it. Take it. I believe in you. You will make the right decision. Let's look and consider the options that you have at the time of your death. I argue that this is yourself. This is your body, your physical body, and your non-physical body. And your consciousness is all the quanta in here. And this is your reality universe. Associated with this is your guardian angel, or also known as your manted. And it is always here in close conjunction with you. There is also another universe over here. And this universe we call the heaven universe. And in this universe is a, an, a mantid. We call mantid prime and we call this one mantid gen general population. Traditionally, of course, it's a reincarnation situation where your quanta goes back and forth, bounces back and forth between these two. Reincarnation. But seriously, folks, you really are getting tired of that, aren't you? Don't you want to end this nonsense? What are your options? Can you just leave? No, you cannot just leave. You don't have the ability to leave this universe. You can only leave with your mantid. That's option number one. You have a good enough rapport with your mantid to leave. Ah, there we go. Ah. Okay, let's look at option number two. Option number two is a third party comes along. Could be domain, as depicted in this heart, who then comes on over, takes you, and carries you off somewhere else. Now, that's pretty frightening because part of you is here, part of you is here, and Lord Almighty, other parts are sitting around in soul. So that's very care scary. Perhaps the best thing to do is for you to go along with this third party with your guardian angel, your mantid. And all of you scoot on off to wherever and however. And that is what most of you have been talking about lately. But I want to offer another solution. I don't know if it's a better solution or a worse solution, but I'm going to present it here right now. In this solution, a hybrid vessel is constructed. And elements of your consciousness enter it and discards this body. And elements of your Manta GP enter it and discard that body. And this new body 
has all your consciousness and accesses to permitted memories and can do dimensional travel, enabling you to go to other places, such as this dimension, with these people or creatures or not, doesn't matter. You will have your own abilities to do so. Of course, the ideal situation is this guy comes along and joins you all. And in that situation, what's so great is that you've got a soul over in this universe and you've got yourself in this universe and someday eventually you two will all match up in the grand scheme of things. Those are your options for egress. Those are your options for egress. Something to consider, guys. Something to consider. But don't think you'll have other opportunities. Don't believe that you're going to have other opportunities because you won't. This is your opportunity. Take it. How do I know? Well, people, let me tell you. I believe in you. That's how.